Hi, I'm <coughs> Hi, I'm Kate, and this is She Geek. So last weekend I went to GameStop and I bought a, and actually a whole lot of sequels. I bought StarCraft II, I reserved StarCraft II and got my beta key. Um, I bought Assassin's Creed II, bought Red Steel II, and Diablo II. I've been told by a lot of people that I should play Diablo II because I really enjoyed the game Torchlight, which was an incredible game that I saw at PAX 09 for the first time. I played the demo of it and bought it as soon as it came out and was seriously just obsessed with it for the longest time. And everybody always said it was sort of a loving Diablo clone, but I had never played Diablo, so I was just sort of appreciating it for the first time. I played games like Neverwinter Nights and Dungeon Siege, all of which sort of apparently got their influences from Diablo. Since I love Torchlight so much, I figured, you know, Diablo 2, the battle chest was 50% off, so I was like, hell yeah, and installed it over the course of many hours. I don't miss the multi-CD installation process, as it turns out. And ten years late, I played Diablo 2 for the first time. Verdict! I can, of course, see now what people are talking about. Torchlight is exactly like Diablo 2. The biggest advantage that Diablo has over Torchlight so far is that I can play online. I started looking into the community last night on Torchlight, and there's not even a mod up for multiplayer. Um, and as soon as there is, I, I feel like, you know, there's no reason not to play Torchlight. It's it's a, a gorgeous game, but playing Diablo was really, really fun. If any of you guys want to play Diablo 2 with me, let me know. Send me a message or something. We'll hook it up. So the other game that I've been playing way too much this week has been Bomberman Live. I first got hooked on Bomberman a couple years ago with my a couple of my friends um, and a Super Nintendo. Really fun party game, surprisingly enough has withstood the test of time. But the first few weeks of that were just me laying a bomb and blowing myself up. But I've improved since then. I can safely say that I win almost every game against the CPU players. Oh! I've tried to play Bomber in Live online a couple of times. It seems like the online capability isn't, isn't really working right for me. Maybe it just knows that I'm better off playing against CPU players and celebrating my, my little victories against no one. I think Bomberman Live is, is a very faithful recreation of the Bomberman legacy and um, I wholeheartedly recommend it. It's like 600 Microsoft points and it's totally worth getting. There's lots of maps and costumes. I just got the Bomb Up pack um, I had a bunch more character costumes. Now I'm dressed like a dinosaur. So there's that. So Bomberman good, Torchlight good. Diablo good. Water is wet. Sky is blue. Supposedly though they're they're developing a torchlight MMO. Um, and I think if there's one thing that I've made clear in these videos, <clears throat> it's that I am an MMO fanatic. Speaking of which, uh, Tycho from Penny Arcade linked on his Twitter today a great article about what Guild Wars 2 has in store. It kind of feels like campaign trail, like a politician's stump speech or something, where they're like, free healthcare for all, and cookies, whenever you want them. I will put a link to that article in the info, and I'm also going to put my Xbox Live ID in there, and you guys should all add me, and we can play Bomberman. I think the only other game I have to play online is Burnout Paradise, and I'm rocking a DeLorean all day long, so, um, that appears to be my show. Today is Tuesday, April 27th. We got Iron Man coming up in a couple of weeks. And remember, May 11th I'm going to announce a contest so you guys can win a free copy of Red Dead Redemption. I'm actually going to put your names in a hat. It contains your fortune. And that's She Geek. I'll see you guys next week. <laughs>